Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 in Central Texas, USA on a beautiful day. It's 65 top-down degrees outside. The lighting in this video may not be very good because it's bright outside and sometimes that distorts the video uh, color. So anyway, what I wanted to touch on was the Oliver Travel Trailer. I've never talked about the Oliver Travel Trailer ever. Uh, it is fiberglass, so I've been doing some stuff on fiberglass travel trailers, and the uh, Oliver is, uh, it, I would have to say, it is probably the airstream of the fiberglass universe in that it, 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 it is expensive. Uh, it's a double-hulled uh, fiberglass unit. The, they make two models. It, they have a, uh, let me see if i got it written down here. They've got a Legacy Elite which is the cheaper of the two, but when you hear the numbers, you're gonna faint. Uh, they got a Legacy Elite, which is 18 feet, five inches long, single axle. Then they have a Legacy Elite Two, which is 23 feet, six inches long, and it's a double axle. But on the interior, they're pretty much the same, and they have a lot of the same standard features and so forth. But the uh, the starting price on the Legacy Elite, the 18-foot, 5-inch model, uh, hold on to your wallets, $47,900 U.S. This is made in Tennessee. Again, it's doubled-hulled. It's, some people call it an Ollie, O-L-L-I-E, but it's Oliver, Oliver Travel Trailers in Tennessee. Uh, the dry weight is 3,400 pounds on the 18-foot model. I won't talk about the larger one because uh, I'm comparing the smaller units, not the larger units. Uh, the tongue weight, 340 pounds. The outside length, 18.5. Uh, outside height, 8 foot 3. Outside height to the top of the roof-mounted satellite receiver, 9 foot 4 inches. Outside width, 6 foot 6 inches. Inside height, six feet one inch so or in the in, inside width is six feet two so and i looked at a video couple of videos of the oliver travel trailer it is very nice i mean it has a lot of fancy stuff uh and uh, it comes standard with let me give you the specs on the tanks too uh, the fresh water tank is 32.5 gallons the gray water is 35.5 and the black water <clears throat> is 18.5, and the restroom looks just like, almost identical to the casita. It's a wet bath. <clears throat> it's a pretty big wet bath, so it's about the same as this one. So what else can I tell you? <clears throat> it comes standard with a lot of stuff that I wouldn't want. Of course, I wasn't planning on buying one anyway, because I'm not going to spend close to $50,000 for a travel trailer, because I can't afford it and don't want one anyway. But it comes standard with a microwave. You can add a can make a make a you can add a microwave convection. It comes with two 12 volt batteries. I thought that was pretty neat. Uh, it's got a 10 foot manual awning. Uh, you probably could get a, a electric if you wanted one. I'm sure. It's got an outside wash station. I'm not sure if that's an outside shower or what. Uh, it's got a, it comes standard with a 22 inch TV and a sound system. Uh, you've got several upholstery options. It's got a roof AC, uh, an antenna, and it's got a monitor for your battery and your tanks. So it's got all kind of stuff, men. I mean, it's uh, ladies, it's got all kind of stuff. Let me look over here at the uh, standard features and see if there's anything that I might have left out. But yeah, you can check it out. Just go to Oliver traveltrailers.com and uh, they got them on there and they're you know they're not ashamed of their price because they tell you straight up front that uh, uh, it's 47.5 starting price uh, let's see uh, it's got a max fan deluxe remote control RV ventilator system I've got a max fan deluxe I, I live in a 17 foot Casita Freedom Deluxe 2019. That's why I was looking at the Oliver, but just comparison, even though I've already made my decision and I'm living in it. I've been living in this Casita for a long t for three months, and I have lived in RVs for a long time, over 25 years at least, maybe more, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I've got a Max Air fan here too, and mine only costs $20,800. And so for twice that price or better, I could get something else. I doubt it. 
But having said that, for those of you that are interest, interested in the uh, higher priced units, uh, then you might want to look at the Oliver because of all of the fiberglass travel trailers that I have reviewed or talked about on this channel, the Oliver is by far the highest priced and, you know, it could, in some ways you might say that it's a, a better trailer. In, in my opinion, it's it's not. I mean, I mean, it, but again, it, it's it's double walled. It's got all kind of stuff. It's like the Airstream. You know, they're built uh, with uh, uh, with insulation in mind, and, and this one is probably not as well insulated for sure as the Oliver. But in in order of price, starting with the lowest price and going to the highest priced fiberglass unit, the little snoozy. Uh, probably would be the, the I'm talking about the 16 foot model for the little snoozy. They do make different uh, models of the little snoozy, and they go up over 20,000, I think, because they got a fifth wheel. Uh, but the little scratch that the scamp rather, I'm sorry, I said little snoozy. The scamp would be the cheapest of all the fiberglass units. Let me correct myself. The scamp would be the least expensive, the 16 foot scamp, uh, but it's not a full. Uh, fiberglass egg it's got a it, it comes around and then it stops and they, they add the floor uh, separately uh, the casita is a fiberglass complete ball uh, the little snoozy is all fiberglass uh, and then the escape in Canada the Canadian made product is an all fiberglass unit and of course the Oliver is all fiberglass but Again, let me go back to the prices. A scamp beer, uh, the base uh, 16 footer, because I did, I looked at a 13, and uh, by the time I added everything I wanted on it, it was around 15.5 or something like that. I can't remember. But a 16 foot scamp uh, probably cost you around 16 to 18,000, depending on what you add to it. And then, of course, the little uh, casita, mine uh, was $20,800 out the door including all taxes and fees. In, in tax, Texas, uh, the sales tax is 6.25%. So that was a 1200 and something dollar item plus license plates and all kinds of stuff. Uh, so that, that would be Scamp, Casita, and then you would go to the little Snoozy. Uh, well, I take that back. Probably the uh, Scape would be next in line because uh, with the exchange rate being what it is right now, you can get, I believe it's a 17 or so foot Escape. Uh, right now for about $21,000. As long as the ex uh, currency exchange rates stay the way they are, then that's a pretty good deal, I guess. Uh, then you go to the little snoozy. It goes up a little bit. I think it's around twenty six to 30000 depending on what you add to it. And then, of course, then you get to the Rolls Royce or Cadillac, whatever you want to call it, in Tennessee, the Oliver. But having said that, guys, I just wanted to give you a, a, a heads up on it because some of you uh, have looked at and I have looked at a lot of different RVs, and the reason I, does it matter what I do? No. You do what you do. But for me, I've been uh, full-time RVing for so long and have bought several different travel trailers. I've never bought a motorhome, and this is my first fiberglass unit, and I have to tell you I'm quite pleased with the Casita. But having said that, uh, you know, uh, the other ones that I've owned all came with certain packages. For example, uh, of course, they all had the tank monitor, the battery monitor. They all had an awning. Uh, they all had a microwave oven. They, uh, every one of them except this one and the coachman that I had before this uh, had an oven. The, the, this one doesn't. And none of these others have an oven either, okay? The, the, uh, there's no oven in these in the uh, Oliver Little Snoozy Scamp Casita or Escape, as far as I can see. Now, I guess you could order one, but they all come with two burner cooktops. And uh, But for me, uh, what I like to do now and what I did when I, I started it when I got the Coachman 16-foot, it's called a Clipper Cadet. There was only one item on that Clipper Cadet that I did not want, and that was the electric power awning that came standard, and you could not take it off, even though I ordered mine uh, pretty much with all the things I wanted. I did not want a microwave. I did not want an oven. Uh, I didn't want a furnace, but you couldn't delete it. Uh, the uh, What else? Uh, but anyway, and, and then, of course, I mentioned yawning. But with this one right here, the Casita, 
I was able to design it just the way I wanted an RV for me, for me. I don't, did not want an oven. I did not want a microwave oven. I mean, I've got a, an instant pot of 110 volt that I can do all my cooking when I've got shore power. Good to go with that. And I've got a, 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 a heat diffuser and some different ways to cook on the two burner stir, stove work, works great for me. Uh, what else? Uh, no TV, no sound system. I don't need it. In fact, the uh, Oliver travel trailer, the sound, uh, the TV is in the same location as, as this one right here. That's the TV mount in the casita. I had that added just in case I might decide at some point to add a television. There's a, a 110 outlet there and a little 12 volt uh, cigarette outlet there for whatever you want to plug in. And that hang in there, that's olive oil's bra. And But anyway, how it got there, I don't know. But uh, so this is the first RV I've really ordered that I got just the way I want. And again, I'll go over again and I'll see there was no microwave, no oven, uh, what else? Uh, no furnace, uh, no awning. And uh, I got an outside shower. Uh, of course, I got the roof AC. It comes with that, you can't delete it. Uh, but I would rather have had, if they had it available, would have been a, a window AC. But uh, they didn't have it available. Every one of these uh, roof ACs that I've ever had and every RV I've ever had are noisy. They're, you know, and, and, and inside they're not too bad, but outside, you know, if you're sitting out in the summertime, they can you can hear it. I guarantee you, you can hear it. And uh, what else? Uh, that's about all I can think of, guys. But uh, if you want a expensive uh, fiberglass unit, well, uh, t check out the uh, Oliver travel trailer. And if you want a a regular RV that's uh, nice and expensive, well, uh, check out the, uh, uh, what is it? Airstream. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're very, the what I looked at, I think it was 18 or 19, 18 footer in that range. It was, uh, it started at 70,000. All right, their little 16 foot Bambi, I think is around 45. So, but that's on the, that's another type of RV. But anyway, having said that guy, I just wanted to give you a quick heads up on this. And that, that completes my review of fiberglass travel trailers. They're, all of these are reasonably lightweight. The heaviest, of course, would be the Oliver. Oliver, I think it's 3,400 pounds. Yeah, 3,400 pounds. The 18-foot, 5-inch model is 3,400 pounds. My Casita 17-footer weighs 2,400 pounds. I can tow it easily with my V6 if I went to uh, the Legacy uh, 18.5, I'd have to have a, a 5.7 liter uh, V8 Ram uh, to tow it with, or a V8 of some kind. But anyway, guys, from Central Texas, USA, thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye, 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 anything you want. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission and it doesn't cost you one penny. If you want to fool with it, do. If you don't want to mess with it, no, don't worry about it. And what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much. And I got some good news for you there. The only way to really lose weight is eat less, period. That's it. And what else? Uh, stretch, 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 and you'll swivel, swivel, you know, exercise your body, walk, whatever you got to do once or twice a day. Why? You know, that may help you live a little longer for one. You'll feel a lot better too. And then what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind. Don't let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your little frontal lobes that dis differentiate us from other animals out there in the woods. But also, you know, just uh, accentuate the positive and eliminate the negative. Don't let negative Ned or negative Nancy get in this head. This is yours. But anyway, having said that, guys, if you're interested in a fiberglass uh, unit, Check out the Oliver, uh, the Little Snoozy, the Scamp, Casita, and Escape, and uh, you got some good choices there. My preference, Casita. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye. Enjoy.